Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session guys, we are going to learn uh, one more WordPress solution called how can we handle table generating errors on plugin activation. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching other playlist of WordPress to get the clear concept about WordPress customizations. So basically guys in this video session we will learn a uh, one more solution to handle our table generating errors means while activating any plugin as we can see if you go to administrator panel this is the plugin that we have made called OWT table okay so while activating this plugin we are going to make a dynamic table to this database okay so just I'm going to click by clicking on this activation means by clicking on this plugin guys we can see that we have some error call the plugin generated 815 characters of unexpected output during activation okay so how can we handle these type of errors on plugin activation or the table generating errors so basically guys to handle these errors we have simple steps that we have to follow to make our dynamic table to our database okay so we have to follow this documentation this is the official website of WordPress it has made a well documentation about creating tables with plugins okay so this is the link that I have provided okay so by following this link guys you actually study about the whole concept of creating tables with plugins okay so let's go to browser we want to create our dynamic table to this database okay so if you go to editor this is the plugin so far we have made called OWT table and rest all the informations regarding our plugin okay so now we have made a simple function as we can see this function actually will fire by activating our plugin this is the function that we have used this is a WordPress function okay basically while activating this plugin this function will fire and this will make a call to this callback function okay so right now there is no code inside this function so we are not going to create any table right now okay so let me go to our database so basically let's create a table manually okay so let's say WP OWT let's say playlist okay so basically this table contains four columns okay so let's say ID title or name let's say number of videos and finally let's say number of users okay so these are the four columns guys we have assigned to this table okay so it should be int it should be called varchar something called 255 in length int and int already okay so we have to specify the length for that okay so 11th is okay so just scroll there and now by clicking on this auto increment guys we're going to make our first id column primary key okay so we have made the primary column to this id section okay and also let's make rest of the columns to null value okay so finally if we go there and click on save button we have created our table called WP OWT playlist okay so why we have made this table we want to actually get this table code from our PHP my admin we can make our custom code to generate this table too okay so but for saving time we have made actually our manually table and just copy the table name go to SQL and let's say that so create table and table name okay so by pressing enter guys we can actually get the code to create this table okay so just I'm going to press control enter okay so this is the code that we actually got okay so let me copy that by copying this code guys just make copy go to slides open a new tab and this is the code that we have generated okay so this is PHP my admin system generated code we can actually write this own code by itself okay for just saving time we have actually generated this code from our PHP my admin okay so what basically we want we want that while activating our plugin that we have made called OWT table okay so while activating this plugin we want to generate that table safely without any errors to our database okay so how can we make it possible so just go to official documentation scroll down we have some code okay so just copy this code okay just copy go to editor paste inside this callback function okay so inside this code we have some parameters called global parameter this is the global parameter called WPDB used to make the call to this method called get cares at call at okay basically this method will return if you go to the command that method actually return these values okay so that is very important to that okay we are not going to write this here as a static value we want to generate the WordPress itself okay so for that we have used called git cares at collat 
okay so basically we have stored this value inside this variable okay and here we have to write our SQL query okay so inside the SQL query guys we have to pass the table name okay so just copy this variable name let's say table name so inside this table name we have to write our table name okay so this is our WP OWT playlist just copy this name paste here okay so we want to make this prefix as dynamic because some users have table called WPX underscore or ST underscore something their own value okay so we want to make it dynamic so just get rid of that let's say that WPDB prefix okay it will give the dynamic prefix that a user have okay we have another option to use instead of this call table prefix okay but remember guys this is the global parameter so before using that we have to use call global and this variable okay so by using this variable we can actually make WP underscore OWT playlist instead of using call WP DB prefix okay so table name we have specified successfully okay so what we have to next do so just get rid of these commands just remove all these things and now right now we have no query inside this SQL okay so just go to slides this is the code that we have generated just copy this code go to editor and now paste inside this SQL variable okay so let me make some formatting so basically here we have to pass the set collar okay so just make copy and pass right here okay and also we have to make the table name as the dynamic that we have created okay so just copy the table name and pass right here okay so we have to concatenate with the double quotes okay because here is the double quotes that we have written okay so basically these are the things guys that we have specified this is the table definition here we have pass called the table name and here is the carset collard okay so we, we we have no static values of carset collard as well as the table name okay only we have the table definition as a static rest all of the information we have passed as a dynamic value okay so finally creating the sql variable we have to pass this sql variable inside db delta function okay so db delta function guys actually this function has defined inside this upgrade.php file so that's why we have to import this file before using the function okay so by by using this function we have to pass this parameter inside this function so just save this file so before creating that table guys we have to actually delete that table that we have created manually inside this database okay so first of all we have to delete that database table okay so this is the table that we have created so first of all we have to drop that so successfully we have deleted okay so now right now we have 12 tables only on this database okay so by saving this file go to our administrator panel reload this page and now let's create or click on this OWT table so just I want to click on activate button so successfully we have activated that so if we move to our database now and refresh this structure so as we can see that we have successfully created our table dynamically without any errors okay so these are the steps guys that we have to follow to create a dynamic table without any errors without any table generating errors to our WordPress plugin okay so this is the first table that we have created okay so if you want to create more tables guys then you need to generate that code from PHP my admin and now by copying that code actually you need to paste all that code here you need to arrange the table name and the cassette collat rest all the informations and you have to pass inside DB Delta okay so let's create one more table to understand clearly okay so just I want to click and create new table called WP list users okay so basically it will contain let's say five columns okay so let's say id name email let's say phone number and address okay so basically these are the columns actually associated with the list of users okay so basically it should be where care it should be where care it should be also where care and finally it should be text okay so let's pass size called 255 email should be called 130 and it should be called 15 and tax should be infinite of length okay first of all we have to make this primary key okay so just to scroll here click on auto increment and this should be primary key okay while if you go don't get any pop-up you need to click on this drop down and you have to select called primary okay so just scroll down and click on finally on save button okay so by clicking on save button we have actually created our table manually so just copy this table name 
go to SQL tab and let's go so create table and finally the table name why we are doing so because we are going to generate the PHP my admin auto generated system code okay so just control enter and finally this is the code click on options full text go and this is the code okay so just I'm going to copy this code go to slides and this is the second table that we have created go to editor clicking on enter and this is called WP list users okay this is for the second table okay copy all these codes that we have made so far paste right here cat set collage should be same okay and our table name also should be same no it's not should be same because this time we are going to generate called WP list users okay so just copy the list users only because WP prefix we are passing right here okay so we'll just replace with that and finally we have passed table name and the cat set collage only we have to change the table definition okay so just go to slides let's copy all this ID section copy that and replace all these codes here okay so successfully guys we have made our table definition dynamic as well as the table name and the cassette collar okay so let's say that SQL to list users okay so copy this variable name and pass inside this DB Delta okay so if we save this file right now we are creating two tables on plugin activation okay this is the first table called OWT playlist and the second table we have specified called list users okay so just save this file go to browser so first of all we have to drop all the tables that we have created okay so WP list users and WP OWT playlist with selected called drop operation yes so we have dropped all the tables that we have created go to plugin reload this page so first of all we have to deactivate that okay so plugin deactivated successfully so while activating this plugin guys we are going to create two tables so just I'm going to click on activate and plugin activated successfully so if you go to our database reload this page so we have successfully created two tables called WP list users and WP OWT playlist okay so basically guys this is the video session where we had discussed about the simple steps to create dynamic tables while plugin activation okay so these are the course guys I will commit to github repository you can download these course from there okay and also I will drink drop the github link to this description video so here guys we have to understand the concept of table creating while plugin activation okay so we have to follow the simple steps to create any tables dynamically while creating plugins okay so in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day